Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, let's talk a little bit about audio. Now, as you can probably see, I'm in a very large room, which you might be able to hear as well. It's quite echoey. I don't have any furniture uh, or carpets. I have hardwood floors and just walls. So my voice is being echoed across this room and it just gives a bad vibe when I'm taking meetings or doing any recordings, especially for YouTube videos. Now, I'm not saying that everyone has an empty room where they're doing any recording, but you might have some cheap headphones, you might have a poor microphone on your laptop, you might have a noisy background or a noisy atmosphere wherever you're working. Now, today we're gonna to be reviewing a couple of things. This is the Moman EM1. It's a very high quality microphone that is controlled by a USB. It comes with a USB-A and a USB-C cable to power it. So we'll look at the condenser microphone more in a second. Then you also have this. This is the Moman RF30. This is a sound shield or a sound reflector. Now you might have seen these pads in a lot of YouTube videos where people have them on the walls. This is great at absorbing sound. So I'm gonna set this up alongside the condenser microphone and see the difference that a shield can make as well. So let's go ahead and unbox these two, run through both of them in a little bit more details and let's see how it sounds by recording some audio examples. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the EM1 USB microphone. Let's see some of the specifications there listed at the bottom. You can see the sensitivity ranges from minus 45 decibels to plus three decibels. You also have the weight and the dimensions listed there and the power supply is five volts, which is generated via the USB cable. So this is the microphone. You can see it's compact and it is very heavy duty. It's metallic, great build. You can see there's a gain control there as well. You can adjust that. You have a LED indicator just above it, which lights up either green or red, depending on whether it's muted or unmuted. As you can see, there is a mute button there. You also have a headphone port so you can monitor the audio coming directly from the recordings taken with the microphone. At the bottom, this is where you will plug in the USB cable. So this is where it will be powered by your laptop. Now this is USB-A, but you get two options for the USB cable, like so. You have the USB A to A, then you have the USB A to USB C. So I'll be using my MacBook Pro and I will connect it using this one. And finally, you have a nice tripod to put the microphone onto. So I'm just going to screw that on top of here. There we go. Now you can twist this so that the microphone inside the shield you can see is facing towards your mouth as well. So plenty of adjustment options. You also have the tightener here on the right hand side of the tripod so you can tilt this upwards or down so if i loosen this for a second there you go you can make any adjustments wherever you get the best audio so now let's take a look at the shield so this is the rf30 it is a microphone reflection filter or a sound shield let's take a look at some of the specifications listed on here so you can see a little bit about the specifications listed here now, one thing I really like about this is that you can mount the microphone in various different places, whether you want to use it on top of the mounting plate at the bottom, or you can actually hang it above and then place it down like this. Now it comes with a few accessories here. It's got some mounting screws here for placing that on top of the plate at the bottom of the shield. So I will be connecting it like this. The actual shield itself is foldable. So it's very easy to carry with you if you wanted to take it anywhere else. Just to show you some folding options, as you can see, it's pretty wide. It covers a lot of space. You can actually fold it in like this, or you can actually go a little bit further and get very narrow, as you can see like that. So wherever you'd like to do it, I'm just gonna create a nice U shape. And then inside here, you'll notice I've connected the tripod mount there as well. So I'm just gonna screw the microphone from the tripod into the shield part here once I switch over to using this instead. So let's go ahead, set it up and see how it sounds. So for the purpose of this test, I'm gonna record four audio samples. The first one is with the lavalier mic, which you guys have been hearing from the beginning of this video. The second one will be using the internal microphone of my MacBook Pro, because if you are remote working and you're taking a lot of meetings with your colleagues, then a lot of people might be just using the microphone that's in their laptop. So I just wanna showcase the difference that it can make by switching to the microphone. The third test will be using the microphone itself and the fourth test will be using the microphone with the sound shield. So let's go ahead and start off with the internal audio coming from my MacBook Pro. Okay guys, 
So this is an audio test with the recording coming directly from the microphone inside my MacBook Pro. You can probably hear it's very echoey because the MacBook Pro is picking up the noises that are reflecting across the entire room. Now, if you have a noisy road outside your house or you're in an environment where there's a lot of background noise, it's going to be picked up by your laptop. So for me, it's not the greatest audio. So I just want to show you a comparison with switching the input from my MacBook Pro to the microphone of the EM1. So make sure that to do this, you need to switch it in the settings as well once you've connected it via the USB cable. Now this audio is coming directly from the Moman EM1. You can probably hear a massive difference, especially if I come very closely to the microphone. I can adjust the gain with the knob on the front as well. You have a headphone jack there to do monitoring of your audio, but you'd have to play that back from the headphones connected to this microphone and you'll have to change the output in your laptop settings to do that as well. So you guys can probably hear a massive difference. It's eliminated a lot of the echo that I have in my background. Now the final test I want to do is using the sound shield. So let's go ahead and move that into place. Now this is the audio coming with the sound shield. So I've given it a nice wrapping around the microphone. Let me know what you guys think. Does the sound shield make a lot of difference? I think so. This type of sponge material, you can actually buy this in a lot of places. This is very good for absorbing sound and eliminating unnecessary background ambient noises. So I've worked with a lot of people that have very poor audio quality coming from their laptops because most of them won't have high quality headphones or microphones. And it's quite poor quality when you're listening it as the person on the other end of the call. So having such clear audio makes a massive difference. And as you guys can probably see, this one does. So take a look down below in the description. I'll have all of the links and the relevant information of where you guys can look at purchasing the Momam Reflective Shield and the also Momam EM1 microphone. If you guys found this comparison useful, make sure you go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. I cover all things tech, so I've got more microphone reviews coming out in the near future. I do headphone reviews and generally all things tech and even some tutorials, which I know you're gonna find useful around the audio space. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you're really gonna like the videos I have coming up very soon and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.